Hi, in this video, I will show you three things all beginner car home players should focus on. Hello everyone, Felipe here from Cajonmaster.com and today I have a very cool video for you. After some time teaching the Cajon, I have made a list of three important things that I think all beginners should know. The first one of the list is timing. Timing is one of the most important things for us Cajon players. This is before we try to learn crazy fuels or complex grooves. If you don't have good timing, the fuels and grooves are not gonna sound good. So you have to work on your timing. Now I'm gonna show you how a bad time sounds like. You can hear how it's confusing and all over the place. But it's normal when we are starting on the cajon. If you are thinking, I think I sound like that, it's okay. I sound like that when I have started and it's normal. Now I'm going to play how a good time sounds like. To improve your timing and be able to play consistently without a metronome, you must first work with a metronome. A good tip to start working with a metronome is to make the subdivision smaller. So if you are in quarter notes, for example, put the metronome in eighth notes. For example, you are going to practice an exercise at 60 BPM, but feel that there is a big gap between the clicks, you set the metronome in 120 BPM. But of course, it's still counting the quarter note pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This will help you to get started. And once you feel that you internalize the exercise, you go back to the quarter note pulse. Not long ago, I have posted a timing exercise to actually improve your internal clock and work with the metronome. Check it out, I've put the link in the description below. Now the second on the list, groove. Groove is how the beat feels, is the space between the notes. This is why we have great grooves created by great drummers. Groove is also something very personal. Each one of us have a way of spacing the notes what makes our groove. But it's important to notice and understand why sometimes a groove doesn't sound good, when it's not groovy. I will play now a groove with a click that sounds good, with good space and dynamics between notes. Now I'm going to play the same groove, also with a click, but without the same spacing and with bad dynamics between notes. One, two, three, four. See, in the second example, I'm still playing time with the click, but it doesn't sound good because of the space in between the notes and also the dynamics of each note. Groove for me is one of the most important things and is something that I teach quite a lot here on YouTube and intensify that on my courses at cajonmaster.com. You can check it out in the description below. Now the third on the list, fuse. 
views are one of the three most important points every player should focus on, and it is actually a challenge for most of Cajon players who are starting out. Views are short passages used as a transition between parts of a song. For example, between the verse and chorus, or from one groove to another. It's a connector that can be improvised or written, and it has to be played as smooth as possible. Now I'm going to play a smooth and simple few for you to understand what I mean. I'm going to play three bars of a groove, followed by one bar few, to then get to another groove. Now I'm going to give you an example of a bad transition with a few that rushes and drags. You see how weird it sounds. One, two, three. You can see how important it is to have transitions and play a smooth cajon feel in time. There are some ways to practice the fuse. You can check out my video Trading Cajon Fuse Exercise where we can play together and make these transitions more smooth and natural. And if you want to go deeper, check out my fuse course at cajonmaster.com. Okay, now you know the three most important things all beginners should focus on. Timing, groove, and fuse. I hope you liked this video and it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what are your challenges on the Cajon, what would you like to improve. If you want to start your journey on the Cajon, you can start for free with my Cajon Starter Course, link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you very soon in the next video. Take care, bye.